Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are you doing today? Fine. Okay, excellent. Welcome to the class. Thank you for your punctuality. Como que siempre se me están conectando pocos al inicio, ¿verdad? Uf, vamos a volver a escribirles, my God. Vamos a ver. Okay, so we're gonna start with today's class. Thank you for being here and thank you for your punctuality again. I know sometimes it's difficult to connect on time because we have a lot of things to do and we have some compromises and we, I don't know, like many things to do, but I appreciate that you're here today and that you have connected to the class, okay? Now, um, today we're gonna start practicing the topic we were practicing yesterday that is should and shouldn't okay um estaré oyente por motivos de trabajo quien dice eso quien es ah marnie okay okay marnie es me avisa si sería toda la clase o solamente un un momento okay I'll appreciate that. Okay, so as I was saying before, we're going to continue practicing should and shouldn't, and we're going to continue with topic that we uh, we have today, what we have today for this class, but starting from should and shouldn't. So I'm going to ask you, do you remember what is the meaning of should? Exactly, and shouldn't? So we use should for something that is mandatory or for an advice. For an advice. Exactly. Okay. So we use should for advices. And we were also talking about the policies that we have in um, or different companies. And just wait a minute. Oh, my. So we're gonna complete some other exercise with that. And now I'm gonna start with the attendance, okay? Because it's 8 or 5 already. So it's time to complete the attendance because I gave you five minutes to connect to the class. So I, so I think it's a perfect time to connect right now. Okay, let's go. Okay. Vamos acá. Tengo pocos conectados. Huh. Interesting. Ok, Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. My God. Ok, Cándida Luz Ortiz de Escalante. Presente. Daniel Osmín López Hernández. Okay, Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Fernando Salvador Figueroa Rosales. Yanis Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Jonathan Josué Oliva Enríquez. Jorge Helio Recinos Echeverría. Present. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present. Marni Betsaida Hernández Flores. Miguel Ángel uh, Romero Hernández. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. 
Rosa de Los Ángeles Enrique de Serén. Present, please. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. En Silvia Patricia Saituno Méndez. Present, please. Oh my God, tengo que escribir al chat porque, like, we have poca asistencia. Recuerden que son 120 minutos los que tenemos que estar conectados. Así que cada minuto que usted está acá, cuenta. Y hoy tengo muy poca asistencia para la hora que es. Ok. Bueno, so we're going to start and we're going to continue practicing the topic we were practicing yesterday. As I told you before, we have the topic should and shouldn't. We're going to continue with that practice just really quick. And then we're going to go with the next topic we have today. That, that will be, let me see, could. So we're gonna be studying basically modal verbs, los verbos modales, aquellos que modifican el verbo, ¿verdad? So could, today we're gonna talk about could, like podría, that's something. Could is used to ask uh, in a polite way to do something, okay? So that's how we use could. But we're gonna start right now with this activity that we have there in the book, in the manual. So <clears throat> here it says, just to start where it, we should start. Here, uh, wait a minute. Use the modal verb should for strong advice and recommendation. Again, we're giving an advice or we're giving a recommendation. The structure that we have to follow is the subject, it can be you, I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Y aquí no se cambia, no se agrega una S para la tercera persona. So, se mantiene como está. So, subject, should, verb in the base form and complement. Verbo en su forma base. Esto es muy importante que lo sepamos. Verbo en su forma base y un complement. So, we have two types of statements. We have the affirmative statements and we have the negative statements. For the affirmative statements, we're going to use should and for the negative statements, we're gonna use shouldn't, okay? So we have here, for example, you should, you should, remember we don't say the L, you should wear a helmet inside the factory. Now we have a negative next to it. Employees shouldn't smoke in the facilities. She should be on time every day we should not forget to wear the uniform, okay? Now we're gonna complete these statements that we have right here and to talk about schedule. You should to write sentences about the policies in your workplace using the words in the parentheses. For example, my schedule. I should uh, respect my schedule. Yo debo respetar mi horario. Okay? Yo debería respetar mi horario. I should respect my schedule. Dress code. My dress code. ¿Qué, qué um, policy podríamos tener que se refiera al dress code? Al, al código de vestimenta. Me dijeron uno ayer. Alguien me dijo ahí sobre unos jeans. Me dijeron algo ayer. I don't know if you remember. Don't remember? Sobre unos jeans me hablaban ayer. Oh my God. Shouldn't write jeans either. Ripe, ripe jeans, right? So, sería, I shouldn't what? El verbo vestir o usar. Wear. Wear, right? So, let me write it. I shouldn't wear ripped jeans. Okay, like that. I shouldn't wear ripped jeans. Now, let's talk about attend trainings. ¿Qué hay sobre atender eh, 
entrenamientos o capacitaciones en su workplace. Mándenme un ejemplo que tenga que ver con eso. Con atender capacitaciones, ustedes me lo van a mandar al chat. Ahí siguen los dos primeros. Solo me van a mandar ejemplo usando should or shouldn't de algo que es una política en su empresa sobre atender capacitaciones, así como los ejemplos que hemos hecho acá. Okay, I have some good examples actually about the trainings, but I have only one, two, three, four examples. I'm still waiting for some more. Should, remember S H O U L D. Should attend. Uy. Pusieron un traductor ahí en voz alta. Cuidado. I should attend all occupational safety and health trainings. Ok. Solo tengo un par de examples y los demás que nos está pasando. My God. I remember. I remember. Uh... A situation in, in this class in university. Okay. Uh, one partner is, is the search. Uh -huh, <laughs> Google search. Uh -huh. y, y se escuchó en todo el aula que decía, según Wikipedia. <laughs> y el chico <laughs> muy <laughs> <risa> Ey. Le salió clase, sí, es que era una clase bien terrible. Era los nombres científicos de unos insectos. Oh my god. Sí, Pero y en the university. Yes. ¿En una maestría? O? No, era eso se llama entomología, se llama esa. esa ¿Y cuál es, cuál es su rama? Soy okay. ingeniero agrónomo. Ah, ingeniero sí. agrónomo. Uh, yes. Yes. ¿De la nacional? No, UTLA. ¿La? UTLA. UTLA. ¿Cuál es eso? Universidad esa? Técnica Latinoamericana. Mm. Uh -huh. Pero esto, eso todavía no reímos cuando nos acordamos. <ríe> Ay, pero. Según Wikipedia. Ay, ya. Yeah. <ríe> 
Ok, vaya, me voy a quedar ahí con los examples que tenemos, pero vamos a pasar al siguiente. Voy a tomar uno de los que mandaron. Vamos a poner este. De los que mandaron, voy a tomar uno de los últimos para ponerlo acá. Ok. Lo mandaron en mayúscula, en capital letters. Pero ya. Yeah. I should attend the training. Training, aquí vamos a modificar porque dice... Eh, el entrenamiento, the training to learn more, pero vamos a poner los entrenamientos. You should train the training to learn more. Que, díganme algo, un ejemplo ahora sobre dormir en horas laborales. Mm. Mm. Sleeping work hours. Okay, ¿Qué podríamos poner un example about it? Mándenmelo. Okay. I shouldn't spend my time sleeping in work hours. Yeah, that's true. Hicieron trabajo. Imagínense que un trabajo que le paguen por dormir. I shouldn't sleep in my work. Just I should sleep in my break. Ah, puedo dormir en su break. Tienen un lugar donde dormir. I shouldn't sleep during working hours. Okay. Excellent. I shouldn't sleep at the work. At work. Solo at work. Ese de está de más, ¿ok? They shouldn't sleep in hours at work. In work hours sería lo mejor, ¿ok? Work hours. Because I will have a warning. I will have... Uh, warning. Okay. I shouldn't sleep during my work time. Creo que todos coincidimos en el mismo tipo de respuesta, ¿verdad? So, vamos a poner el ejemplo, el primero que me enviaron. Ahora sí vamos a poner el primero. I'm going to write it here. I, oh, era T, ¿verdad? Shouldn't. Tiene que llevar una TN. Shouldn't. Ok. I shouldn't spend my time sleeping in work hours. No debería desperdiciar mi tiempo. O gastar mi tiempo durmiendo en horas laborales. Ok. Perfect. That's good. So, there... I think you have understood the topic. Creo que hemos entendido el, el topic en su mayoría. Ya tenemos más personas conectadas. Qué bueno. Hace un ratito tenía como seis, siete. Yo dije, oh my God. What is happening? Ya se me están corriendo la cuadra. I don't like that. Well, so we're going to continue right now. And we're going to talk about healthy habits. Do you know what healthy habits means? Healthy habits. Habitos saludables. Exactly. So we're going to talk about healthy habits. Okay. Después de que mi esposo justo se acaba de cenar un churro y una gaseosa bien feo. Hasta me dolió la cabeza de verlo. <laughs> We're going to talk about healthy habits right now. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to talk about healthy habits, things that we should or shouldn't do. So, the indication we have here says, fill in the blanks using should or shouldn't and one verb from the word bank. 
okay, una, una, un verbo de los que aparecen en the word bank right now, here. So, no problem with the link of the meeting. Okay, Rafael, thank you for letting me know. So, for example, we have the first one here, and this is a person running, and the sentence says, you, some exercise every day. So, you think we're going to use should or shouldn't? Should. should. What verb do you think we can use here? We should do. We should do some exercise every day. Now, here we have you to bed late. You should or shouldn't? Shouldn't. Shouldn't. And what do you think is the verse, the best verb that we can use there? Flip. Go. You shouldn't. Where do we have? Sleep? We have a sleep. But well, let's see if we can apply sleep. Okay. Oh, we are here. So we, this one is okay. sleep. So no, sleep no. We shouldn't go. Go. Go to bed. We shouldn't go to bed late. Okay. We shouldn't go to bed late. Now, when you finish, you're going to click here. Again, what is respuestas? You see, we got them correct. So the first one is should do, and the second one is shouldn't go, okay? So let me send you the link so we can practice. There you have it, okay? Tienen el link para que podamos trabajar en this. ¿Se entiende la actividad que vamos a hacer? Do we get the activity? Yeah? Si tienen preguntas, ahí pueden hacerlas ahorita. No, no questions? Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna work, and we're gonna complete with should and shouldn't according with the verbs. We're gonna use the verbs that are there in the bank, in the per bank verbs. Jorge, eh, si quiere apague su cámara para que se pueda unir. Fernando, no sé usted. Voy a ver. Fernando, no sé si está de oyente. Si me puede escribir ahí un mensajito que pasa, please.
Hello, Jenis. Welcome to the class. Voy entrando a la clase. Bueno, vengo llegando a la clase. Ok, it's ok, pero gracias por conectarse. Thank you very much. Bueno, mire, sus compañeros están trabajando en esta worksheet que es sobre shooting, shooting. Así que la voy a enviar a un, a un grupo para que trabaje con ellos, ok? Okay, perfect. Ahí está la invitación ya.
You shouldn't. ¿Terminamos acá? Corregir. Ok. Ok. Hello, welcome back. Okay, now we're gonna continue with the modal verb could, okay? Because we have to continue with that modal verb. We we have some modal verbs. The first one could be should, because we have could, we have may, we have might. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to give you a lesson, una, como una lección completa eh, en cuanto a los modal verbs, ¿verdad? Cómo se utilizan los modal verbs, para qué se utilizan, qué significan, porque los modal verbs son bastante necesarios en in, in English to speak about different things, like obligations, permissions, um, suggestions, advices, or something that is mandatory to do. We're going to practice that tomorrow. I'm going to give you like a whole lesson about it. Voy a darles como una lección completa con respecto a esto, okay? But now we're going to continue with the modal verb could, okay? Do you remember, con ustedes nos aprendimos el tongue twister, how much would, would a woodchuck chuck is a woodchuck would chuck would? No. No lo aprendimos con ustedes. Sí, dice Jenis. Okay. Creo que fue en el primer módulo que lo estuve. Creo que fue en el cuarto. Quinto. I don't know. It was somewhere there. So, ¿Cuánto módulo llevo con ustedes? I don't remember. Do I have like two or three models? How many? Two? Conmigo estuvo el cuarto y ahorita el quinto. Cuarto y quinto. Okay. So, cuarto y quinto. Okay. I think that's, that's about it. Conmigo primera vez. Yeah. It's first time. Yeah, I know. Eh, porque me, funcion me fusionaron dos grupos. Right. Right, so we had like the fusion. So, okay, we're gonna uh, remember with the pronunciation of how much would, would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. We don't say the letter L in could, okay? We only say could, okay? And could means podría. Could we're gonna use it to ask permission in a very polite way. Do you remember what polite means? What is the meaning of that? Exactly. So we're going to do it in a very, very, very polite way when using could. So now we have a conversation right here where they are using could as a polite way to speak in a company. Okay, remember the first time I'm going to go with pronunciation, then I'm going to go with intonation. Okay. Now, if you have questions about the meaning or pronunciation of a single word, ask me when I finish. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Oh, this is a conversation of three people. Okay. Really, what's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. 
do you need me to repeat the pronunciation or do you need me to repeat uh uh i don't know like uh, the meaning of a word you need me to say the meaning of a word yes uh the se pronuncia from verdad no wrong sino que from wrong wrong como que wrong. la w se queda en el en, en la garganta wrong wrong okay quiero ver si Sí. Ok. Um, HR. ¿Saben qué significa HR Department? Human Resources. Human Resources. Ok. Excellent. So, I'm going to repeat one more time. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am ok, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. I'm gonna send you an audio. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, now, recuerden que cuando les envío estos audios, it's for you to practice, okay? I send you this audio so you can practice the pronunciation, you can practice the intonation, and everything goes as it is planned, right? Now, when I go to the break room, sometimes I hear mispronunciations. Ayer les dije que significaba mispronunciation. ¿Qué es mispronunciation? Ahorita solo ustedes los tengo de grupo, así que sé que sí. Fue a ustedes que les expliqué qué significaba mispronunciation. You don't remember? Is that in Instead of saying bad pronunciation, we don't say bad pronunciation. We say mispronunciation. Como pronunciar mal una palabra. That's what it means, okay? So sometimes when I go to the breakout rooms, I hear mispronunciations of some words. For example, right now I'm telling you that you have to say could, no could, right? The letter L mm -mm, is not mentioned. Could, could. Okay, so now I'm going to send you, and remember, breakout rooms are made to practice, not to be quiet. No están hechos para estar callados, son para practice. We have the breakout rooms because we practice. Okay, let me see. Vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. Gonna make Marnie está de oyente. Okay. Okay. Recuerden que no es para estar callados el break room, es para practicar. Por favor, please, please, please.
ahí están las invitaciones, no sé si les han llegado a todos, porque tengo unas salas que no se me han unido varias personas. Mis, a mí sí me llegó, pero me sacó. Vaya, Candira, voy a mover a la 1, pero no se vaya a unir a esa sala porque esa no es la suya, ahí no se vaya a unir. La voy a unir a la 2, esa sí es su sala. ¿Ok? Miguel, Fernando, ahí están las invitaciones. No. Hola Miss, eh, perdón, me sacó de la clase el, el Zoom. Oh, ok, Miguel, ok, it's ok. I'm gonna send you to the room number two, ok? Sí, number two era Miss. Okay. No sé por qué me da, me está dando bastante problema el, el Zoom. Me saca. ¿Tal vez la señal? Eh, no, eh, yo creo que es la compu, oh. eh, el sistema que tiene. Eh, es, es, es Ubuntu eh, ¿Y ya y, actualizó Zoom? Eh, no me deja Ahorita de hecho estoy descargando una actualización Tal vez me deja instalarla Pero teóricamente ya está instalada la, la última actualización ah okay. es, es bien limitado, no sé si es por el sistema operativo Ok, ok Pero ya le llegó la invitación Sí, gracias oh, Perfecto
Jonathan. Está con el micrófono. Eh... Ahí está. Ah, ok, hoy usted es Hank. Bye, sí. Uh, good morning, ladies. How, how are you do? How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Barry is not. Really? What wrong, Barry? Betty. Well, my brother is sick, and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. Este estar pendiente también de los últimos dos de de Yuli. Ajá, que serían dos de Yuli y solo el último de Hank. Ajá. Bueno, no sé con quién con quién me toca a mí. Conmigo. Con Hank. Con Jenny. Ah, okay, entonces yo sería Hank. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Ham. I am okay, but but very. Good, good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Ham. I am okay, but very not. Really? Oh, really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask. For permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a for. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Bye. Voy a hacer yo. Vamos rápido. Démosle rápido. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Today. Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that you could, you could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department for and request a form. Will I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Bueno. La teacher ya viste que se queda callada. Uh -huh. Claro, porque estoy escuchando. Anotando. Mire, dónde, les iba a decir que la conversación es de tres personas. Está Hank, Julie y Betty. Betty solo tiene sí, una pero... intervención, pero es de tres personas. No, nosotros ponemos la penúltima, se la ponemos a Betty. Pero la estábamos haciendo despacito. Ahorita ya estábamos fast. You're doing fast. Yeah, yeah I saw you. I, I heard you. Ajá, entonces, vaya ni a yo sí. Hello, 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 hello. Remember que la conversación es de tres, así que si hacemos un role play, va a haber una tercera persona que solo va a tener una intervención, que en este caso sería Betty.
Okay, we're back. I'm gonna choose two participants, no, three participants, because as I told you before, this is a three people conversation. And of course, I'm gonna choose Ramiro. I'm gonna choose uh, Jenny's. And I'm gonna choose Silvia Patricia. So Ramiro, you're gonna be Hank. Silvia Patricia, you're gonna be Yuli. And uh, Jenny's, you're gonna be Betty. Betty, okay? Betty, okay. Ramiro? Okay, I am Hank. Uh, yes. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay, but very slow. Really? What's wrong, Barry? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request the for. Okay, Pero, un momentito. Este, aquí no es Julie, aquí es Betty. Porque ahí pregunta que si puede mencionar la, la forma. Ok, aquí contesto usted, Yanis, perdón. <risa> Miss casi no se le escucha, disculpe, no sé si soy yo o... o... Sí, sí, no, no, creo que es el inter de la, de la Miss, porque se sí. le escucha cortado. Cortado y bien, Muy bien suave. suave. De verdad. Bien lejos por donde vive se le escucha. <risa> ¿Qué, ¿Ahora? Hoy sí, mejor, gracias. Yo creo que es el micrófono, la posición donde estaba el micrófono. ¿Sí me escuchan bien ahora? Yes, miss. Ok, vale, les decía que esa parte de ahí tiene que ser Betty, porque pregunta que si ella puede mencionar la razón por la que no va a la razón por el permiso ahí se equivocaron ellos y pusieron Julie dos veces pero aquí es Betty, así que es usted Janis ok cool, I mentioned the reason for the permission yes, absolutely ok, perfect I'm just mm, por aquí vi un errorcito here I'm sorry to hear that, ok to hear ok, sería here I am sorry to hear that. Exactly. Excellent, Ramiro. Thank you, Jenny, Ramiro, and Thank you, Miss. Silve. Thank you, Silve. Yeah. Okay, let's go with some other participants. Now we're going to go with Rafael Martinez. We're going to go with Blanca Tunaca and with Jocelyn. Okay, Rafael, Rafael you're going to be Hank. Jocelyn, you're going to be Yuli. And Blanca, you're going to be Perry. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can't go see, you, go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to Human Resource Department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Excellent. Good job. Thank you very much, Blanca, Rafael, and Jocelyn. Okay. So now, what we're doing here is to mention could as a polite way to speak, right? You could ask for a permission. Tú podrías pedir un permiso. You could go to HR. Podrías ir a HR. También estamos dando una sugerencia. We're giving like suggestions using could, okay? Now, we're going to continue right now, and I'm going to ask you about the conversation. For example, we have two questions at the, uh, at the end of the conversation. That is, what is the problem with Betty? And do you know someone who had a similar situation? Now, I'm going to ask the first question to Jorge. What is the problem with Betty? Yeah. Yeah. 
¿Cuál es el problema que tiene Betty? ¿Cuál es el problema con Betty? Que la mamá se enferma, mis. Sí. Cabal. Betty sí. Yeah, the mom is sick. Okay. And the problem is that her sister can go, right? Entonces alguien tiene que ir a ver a la mamá. Okay. Do you know someone who had a similar situation, Jocelyn? Jocelyn? Yes. Do you know someone who had a similar situation like Betty? Mm, in this moment, not miss, but in other case, in another moment, yes, I know someone. Like a co-worker? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see with Jenny's. Do you know someone with a similar situation? Jenis, creo que le pregunté a Jenis, ¿verdad? Yes, pero tiene el audio apagado. Sí, me preguntó teacher, Miss. Ok, so you, do you know someone who had a similar situation? ¿O no? Mm, no. Ok, thank you. I know someone who had a similar situation. I did. Last Monday, my mother was sick. And nobody could be with her. So I had to ask permission in my job to go pick up my mom at the hospital. Okay. So I had to go and pick her up because she had an asthma crisis. Asthma is the same in Spanish and in English. Just that in English we write it with TH. Asthma. Okay. The pronunciation is the same. Okay. So yeah. We have different situations like this when we have to ask permissions because our family members are sick. Porque cualquiera de nuestros familiares está enfermo, no solamente tendría que ser mom, right? It can be daughter, son, um, partner, pareja, whatever it is. Okay, now, how to use the modal verb could, okay, to express possibility. The structure we're going to use is we're going to use subject, Miren, es que este libro, por rato yo me enojo, ¿cómo han hecho este libro? Mm, mm. Me pusieron aquí, should y es could. Ven, pero vamos a borrarlo. Y vamos a escribir could. Va a ok. Now, you can write the subject, could, the verb, and the complement. Okay, so you're going to say the subject could or couldn't. Couldn't is for na, negative forms, pero usualmente no vamos a usar las formas negativas, okay? Vamos a usar el could right like this. So, for example, we have the first example. Pay attention to the pronunciation porque después voy a pedir ayuda. You could request a day off. You could talk to your supervisor or the manager. She could explain her situation. We could take the company's transportation. Okay. Can you help me reading the first one, please, Maria Julia? Perdón, please. Can you read the first example, please? Mm, yes. Solo, solo tiene que leer el primer ejemplo, María Julia, el que está acá. Permítame. Ok. You could request one, a day of... Excellent. Can you repeat request? Request. Ok, request. Thank you. Oscar, can you help me with this example right here? Oscar, are you there? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, 
she could explain her situation. Excellent. Thank you very much. Daniel, can you help me reading this one? You could talk to your supervisor, supervisor or the manager. Supervisor, correct. Thank you. Candy, can you help me reading the last one? Candy? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, I could take the company transportation. Okay, no, solo que lea el ejemplo, <laughs> así como tal. Ah, perdón. Yeah, it's okay. We could, take, we could take the company transportation. Excellent, thank you very much. That was good, thank you. Okay. Now, let's go with this activity right here. <clears throat> says, read the situations and write a sentence expressing possibility with could. Share the sentences with your classmates. So vamos a leer, pero vamos a hacer este grupo, vamos a leer las situaciones diferentes que están acá y vamos a expresar posibilidades con could. For example, you don't have a car y necesitan ir al trabajo o ir a un lugar. Tenemos una posibilidad con could. No tienes un carro, ¿qué podríamos hacer? I should take a taxi. Should or could? Ah, perdón, I could take a taxi. Okay, I could take a taxi. That's good. Thank you. I could take a taxi. ¿Saben de qué otra forma se les llama a los taxis? Uber. Se no. Uber. <laughs> no, that's not a taxi. Cab. C-A-B. Cab. En Inglaterra le dicen cab. No le dicen taxi, okay? So, cab. 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 Con C-A-B. Okay. Now, so... I'm going to clear that one because that was my recommendation. And here we're going to write the first difficult, different ones. So the number five, I'm going to write the number five for you, is you are busy, but you have to connect to the class. Ustedes están ocupados, pero tienen que conectarse a la clase. ¿Qué recomendación podrían dar de eso de la número 5? Así que esta va a ser la número 5, la agrego yo. Las otras la van a hacer ustedes. Eh, tomen un screenshot y lo que me van a hacer es darme una recomendación por situación que pueda pasar. Vamos a ir a armar esas recommendations in the break rooms, ¿ok? ¿Se entiende la actividad que vamos a hacer? Les di un ejemplo ahí, pero if you don't get it, puedo volverlo a explicar. Do we get it? Yeah? Yes, yeah, please. Okay, perfect. Okay, there we go.
Ahí le envié la 3. Y Miguel y Rafa se salieron. Y Fernando. Ya no lo veo ahí. Mm, ahorita te estoy escribiendo la 3. Ok. Que conste que eso fue idea de Olivia. No, no. Esto me para silenciar a uno que tiene muy ahí y no es participo. Tiempo que me queda. Sí. Bien, Dígame quién es, yo lo puedo silenciar. Fernando, silencio, lo corro. Yo no lo puedo quitar. Oiga, pues ahí. ahí. Una música bien estudiante tenía también. Ya estamos ahí bien. Ok. Gracias, Miss. Bueno, gracias. I could speak to the doctor. You are busy, but have to connect to the class. I could schedule my time correctly. Ok, compañera. Next. ¿Quién sigue? Ah, solo venía Adelante. a hacerles una recomendación, please. Eh, ahí sí, donde dice el number three, pongamos I could request to extend the document in the legal department. I could request to extend the document in the legal department, sería verdad. No, no borre, no, solo borre donde, desde donde dice tu legal department. Solo esa parte. Tu legal department. I could request. Uh -huh. I, I will request to extend the document y al final ponga in the legal department. <coughs> I could take a break. I could visit the doctor. Yes, good, good. And I could schedule my time. Correctly. Excellent. Good job. Lo demás está muy bien. Okay. Estamos practicando. Gracias. Ok. You're welcome. Ok. Adelante, compañera. Like a listener. A listener. Antes de connect, you could. List We could. A Connect like, like. No es en línea, connect. Doble N, creo que llevo. Connect, sí. Me like a, a listener. As a listener, ponga en el lugar ah. de like a listener, ponga as a listener. Ah, ah. Ok. Pero, antes. Um, You could ask, y en la parte donde dice you could ask a Uber, en la primera, lo mejor sería you could ask for an Uber. Ok, aquí le voy a escribir para que les queden las correcciones. You could ask permission in work from home, eso está bien. We could consult a lawyer, eso está bien. You could visit a doctor, ay, ahí todo está bien, solo esa, la primera y la última. Y la primera. En lugar de like, sería ask. Yeah, as a listener, correcto. As a listener. As a
Okay, perfect. Now let's continue. We're going to do a review on how to use could and couldn't and how to use could in questions, okay? Uh, can you hear me well? Okay. Sí. Yes. Correctly. Okay. Tenía miedo que me escucharan como aquí por donde yo vivo. Otra vez. <laughs> okay, oh, let's, let's continue. Yeah, I live far away. Live really far away. <clears throat> okay. So the main form on how to use could is this way. So you can use subject plus could plus a verb. For example, he could be my friend. The teacher could drink a good coffee. I could work on Saturday. You could use hand sanitizer to be safe, okay? Now, we can use with couldn't. Subject plus, pueden usarlo así, could not, o pueden hacerlo de la manera abreviada, couldn't, okay? Plus verb plus subject. So, you couldn't come to my house. Pero aquí cuando usamos couldn't, Podría ser, yo no podría, I couldn't do that, yo no podría hacer eso. O puede ser también el pasado de Ken. Hay, hay que tener mucho cuidado si está refiriendo hacia eso. For example, in this case, I couldn't speak English eight years ago. Obviamente estamos hablando de could as a past tense. I couldn't connect early to the class. I couldn't miss the classes. Yo no podría perderme las clases. I couldn't miss the classes. I couldn't get there earlier. No pude estar ahí temprano. Entonces, ese es pasado, ¿verdad? Para hacerlo pregunta, lo único que vamos a necesitar es could al inicio, porque los modal verbs siempre son los que van a aperturar preguntas. Luego tenemos subject, verb, and a complement. Would you help me, please? And in this one, we're going to Very polite. Vamos a sonar muy, muy amables usando este tipo de preguntas. En lugar de decir, can you help me? You say, could you help me, please? Could you go with me? Podría decir conmigo. Right. Now, let's do another exercise. Yo creo que Zoom anda fallando porque de repente me tira como la imagen de otro. No sé, anda bien raro Zoom últimamente. Como la Matrix. Ajá, bien feo anda. I don't know. Okay, here. Let's go here. Now. We need to identify if we're going to use could, we're going to use could, couldn't, can, or can't. So, for example, in the first example we have here, we're using I help you. I have a terrible headache. You think is can, could, or couldn't? Can. Can or can't? Ya. Yeah. No puedo ayudarte, me duele mucho la cabeza, ¿verdad? Luego aquí tenemos last year. Esto ya nos va indicando que vamos a hablar en pasado. Last year I clean the snow in our garden. I could clean or couldn't clean the snow in our garden. Oh. ¿Hm? Oh, cool. Solo could o couldn't? Couldn't. Couldn't? Bueno. <coughs> Bob write letters last year. Bob, esto el año pasado. No podía. Oh. No podía. ¿Cómo diríamos no podía? Couldn't. Couldn't. Ok. Sam take very interesting pictures now. Sam puede tomar fotos muy interesantes ahora. Puede. Can. Can. Correct. So this is the last activity we're going to do. Just to can or could or can't. Couldn't. As it is. Pero aquí nos equivocamos porque era Bob. Bob couldn't. ¿Qué puso malo yo aquí? Content. Could, last, could, era afirmativo. Ok, aquí es afirmativo. Entonces el number three es afirmativo. Que Tom, Bob sí podía escribir eh, cartas el año pasado. Ok, so esa es la actividad que vamos a hacer. Creo que ya les envié el link. 
Yeah, can you send you the link? This is the last activity, the very last activity we're going to do today. ¿Se entiende? Do we get it? We're just yes. going to identify the correct form. Okay, let me see. Yes. Perfect. Okay, let's go and get to work. <clears throat> No se pudo conectar, María. Ahorita, es que se me apagó la máquina. Vaya, ahorita la voy a unir a una sala, no se preocupe, don't worry. Okay,
Na bailarina. Can't. Can't. ¿Eh? Ella debería tomar danza. Clases de danza moderna. No Lucy. Un sí, es positivo la once. Porque Linda es una buena bailarina. Ella puede bailar todas las danzas sí, modernas. Es positivo. Oh, pues no me duermo, no me duermo. Ya que ya casi, son las días casi. Ya está el reloj programado. Ya, ya está programado, solo para caer sí. a las 10. Sí, sí. Que galán y yo eso ahora empiezo a subir los videos, a actualizar fotos. <risa> ahora empieza mi segunda. Lucy. Sí. Lucy Roll. Current, current, porque está en pasado. Ok. Aquí, y la otra, sí, no, es que... Que... No. pero en pasado, no, ah, solo que así que sí, okay. Tommy oh, has to help her at home, she, she could. ¿Quién? No, perdón, yo estaba viendo otra. Ah, entonces es cool. Es pasado, es couldn't. Ah, no, could. No, es, es ahí, entonces sí es quién, porque es presente. Helper. Yo es diría que lo ayuda. Lo que es un buen ayudador, ¿no? algo así. Ah, sí. Un buen ayudante en casa, uh -huh. él puede lavar los platos. Uh -huh. okay. Flores. Está bien entonces. Si no, Cold no, está no, bien. Porque... No, ¿verdad? Es, sería Ken. Oh, ya está Ken. Ajá. Ken. Sí, porque está hablando del presente. Del presente, correcto. Dice que Mona no podía eh, eh, manejar. Ahí sería Cudent. Ahí sería Cudent. Sí. Cudent, ¿verdad? Sí. Y Cudent, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, no sí. Cool. Ahora cool. ella puede. Ajá, ahí está bien. Está bien. Está bien, ¿verdad? Sí, sí ahí está bien. Ah, Pam puede leer libros, dice ella, su madre le leía a ella, eh, le leía a ella, dice. Cool. O sea, que aquí sería Can. Can. Ajá. Can. Can. Ahora dice, Hel Helen puede cocinar muy bien, pero ella lee, pero ella lee cómo hacerlo. ¿Verdad? Está bien. Sí. sí. Aquí sería Kent también, ¿verdad? Kent. No, quiero ver. Oh. Ahí sería, sería Core. Cool. Ahí estaba cool. bien, Kuren. Kuren, uh -huh. ajá. Kuren, ¿ok? Linda uh -huh. es una buena bailarina, dice. Ella puede bailar. Entonces aquí sería Ken. 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 Porque es una habilidad presente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Dice que Lucy Ken, aquí uh -huh. sería Colt, entonces. ¿Están de acuerdo? Sí. Uh -huh. Lucy no podía Robert Bates la semana pasada, pero ahora puede hacerlo muy uh -huh. bien. Tom uh -huh. es un buen ayudante en casa, él puede lavar trastos, entonces es una habilidad presente. Es Ken. Puede ser Puede ser, no, puede ser Cud. Ah. Fue el año pasado. Cud, pero no Cuden. Ah, ok. Pienso uh. que podría ser. Falta una, falta una. Sí, solo quería ver la escritura del Cud. <ríe> la otra dice... A Alicia no le gustaba pescar, pero ahora pesca bastante bien. ¿Quién?
Queremos venir. We want to venir. Present me. Ja, present, dice rapidito. Y mire que me faltaron varios en la primera. Bueno, vamos a ver. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present Miss. Cándida Luz Ortiz de Escalante. Present Miss. Daniel Usmín López Hernández. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Fernando Salvador Figueroa Rosales. Fernando Salvador Figueroa Rosales. Present Miss, solo que no me da de volado. Ok. ¿Quién es Carolina Vázquez de Medrano? Present Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Jonathan José Oliva Enríquez. Present Miss. Jorge Helio Recino Echeverría. Present Miss. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present. Marni, <coughs> un segundo. Marni Betsaide Hernández Flores. Present Miss. Miguel Ángel <coughs> Romero Hernández. Present Miss. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present Miss. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present Miss. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enrique Teserén. Present Miss. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Seituno Méndez. Okay, that will be it for today. We're going to continue tomorrow. And here, Miss, me mencionó, Miss. Yes, Daniel. Don't worry. Okay, have a good Bye. night, you guys. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. María Julia. Perdón, mis aprovechando eh, las tareas cuando las tengo que tener el viernes. Sí, para el viernes. El, eh, mañana vamos a ver si trabajamos en la plataforma aquí juntos. Ah, vaya. Okay. Vaya. Gracias. You don't worry. Okay. Bye. Have a good night.